Hey Calvary's Pastor Ruben from the Parker campus and as always it's a blessing to be with you today. I got a quick question for you. When you give, are you a cheerful giver? Meaning are you a happy giver, a willing giver and just can't wait to bless others? Or are you reluctant because giving feels more like a grudging obligation, kind of like you have to do it. You see giving has to do with the attitude of your heart and when you have the right understanding, the right motives, it will always lead to a right heart when deciding to give. Listen to what it says in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, starting at verse 6. It says this, Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. As followers of Jesus Christ, we are called to live a life of generosity, not just with our time, with our giftings and talents, but also with our finances. And some of you may be thinking, well, I'd like to be more generous. I just don't have much to give. I only make so much a month. Well, did you catch what the scripture said? It said that each one must give as he has decided in his heart. That means you decide the amount to give. And when you have decided it, be willing to give, it, give that amount with a cheerful heart. And can I just remind you that living a life of generosity has more to do with deciding the right attitude of your heart than more than deciding the amount you give. If God is the ultimate cheerful giver who loves blessing us, his children, and doesn't hold back from us, remember he gave us Jesus, <laughs> he gave us Jesus, then we should follow his example and not hold back from him in our giving and in our blessing of others, which in turn will bless us. Because when we give with the right heart, the more willing we are to do it again and again and again. Remember, he said, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. He also said, whoever sows bountifully will reap bountifully. So you determine the number of blessings by how much you sow. However, God will determine the type of blessings you receive. And can I tell you the best blessings aren't money. It isn't material or temporal things, but it's eternal. Lives that are forever changed by Jesus. Marriages that are healed. Families that are restored. Peace that surpasses human understanding. Strength that is greater than our own. And I could keep going, but I want you to experience it for yourself. So the next time you give, decide on that amount and be willing to give with a right heart. Because God loves a cheerful giver. God bless you and have a good day. All good, brother. All good, brother.